let's take a look at our great people counter over here. So I can still get a great general, but I'm not going to bother. I can get... Oh, hold on. Erwin Schrodinger triggers three Eurekas. Now, it looks like we would get it anyway, but someone else might beat us to the faith buy. So you know what? We're going we're gonna to do this anyway. Yes. Three Eurekas, baby. And I don't think that can glitch out. Can I... Major defeat? No. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to run away. And get out of range here. There you go. We'll move you back later. Hokidoki. So, the problem with the war against Japan is there is a lot of frontage here. I think what we're probably going to do is make sure to defend over by Salvius, but actually push up into Fukuoka and then into Kyoto. So, we're going to have to plan some defenses over here, which probably means leaving, like, one um, field cannon and maybe one musketman core over here, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I'll, I guess I'll put you to defend the campus, because I would hate to get that pillaged. So you're going to fortify there, and then you can go into the city itself and just uh, wake up if there's any enemies that show up. The rest of you guys are going to position yourself closer to the Japanese territory. Um, oh, there. Now, these battleships are really going to have nothing going on. Ooh, promotion. Bonus against... Bonus against districts. We're going to be able to blow up um, cities a lot faster. So we can ignore India for now. France is not really an issue. Arabia will be a thing at some point. I think if there's going to be anything, I'm going to sort of pull back and defend the East Coast, maybe, against Germany. Just in case anything were to happen over there. we got good wonders and stuff here, too. Plus, we might want to just babysit the, the land between our two uh, locations here. There's a district in the middle of the ocean. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, we'll have to have some units in Patna as well, and just in case some stuff restarts over there, because that would be... Less than ideal. Okay, Spy. So, we're going to steal a tech boost. Only 37. Oh, no, we should um, gain sources first. Certainly. Certainly. Indian artillery. All right, we're going to build some artillery, but we're going to start that very soon in dry meat shield. And, yeah, we have to let some of the uh, war exhaustion um, expire. Trade for amenities. That's not a bad idea. Because our, our cities are pretty universally miserable. We're going to have to build some entertainment districts over here. Um, nope. <laughs> nah. -uh. Could go north. Um, you're right, I could move my, my ships all the way to the north coast. We'll take them ages to get there. Now... This is blocked. So the question becomes, is there an opening over here? And I guess there's a, kind of only one way to find out. At best, it's like 34 turns. That is sick. Now, you know what? It's not practical. Oh, you actually... Oh, this is the one that I've got going over there. Who did I just send that way? You over here. Okay, but it doesn't count the turns properly because of the fog of war. That's true. So it probably won't actually take that long. Alright, that's... Battleship, battleship. Uh, where's our ironclad? Can't see them. So we have the two battleships and then the ironclad, and that's it. Oh, you're... Oh, you're... Oh, yeah, you can't go that way, buddy. Still, you know what? It's actually worth just scouting out a bit here, getting a little bit of info about the terrain. Okay. Because the battleships of their range means we can take any coastal city perfectly fine. Mostly as long as, you know, there's not too dangerous of a, um, of a sea presence. Okay, Melissa Riddle is really tiny. Wow, yeah, the amenities are bad. Although, some a lot of that is still leftover war weariness, so I think that's going to be okay in the end. Um, you start with the granary because your housing limit's pretty poor. You're going to come over here and obliterate that guy. Or not, actually. And therefore you'll annoy me because he might go and pillage something else. 
All right, we are must be completed in campus. We have no campuses over here. Really? Where's our closest campus? Way over here? Jeepers. Okay. Well, Schrodinger's got to walk a long, long way. Mm -hmm. I forgot to rename. Oh, yes, that's right. I didn't rename Patna. Oh, I have to wait for the turns to be done. Please waiting. What is the next city name going to be? It's going to be Borbara. Please waiting, please waiting, please waiting, please waiting, please waiting, please waiting, please waiting. Boom. Borbara. Borbara. Excellent. Thanks for the reminder. Oh, yes, you're right. I did forget you can teleport great people. Because that is such, like, a weird thing to consider. Transfer to another city. Teleport to here. Nice. Okay. You're going to move to here and shoot this fool before he pillages. All right. Excellent. Um, you are probably going to have to sit on the coal, actually. Fortify there. And... I mean, this is a crappy melee unit at this point, but what are we going to do, right? I guess we'll just put another unit over here, and that's going to be okay. So you're going to just be on to alert mode. Uh, this guy will probably start to get cranky about things, but we'll actually tell him we're just passing through, at least for now. I got to the point where I don't really care about lies anymore. I mean, when did I really care about lies? Honestly. All right, spies, seven turns away from Forbidden City. We are six turns away from Great Zimbabwe. Look at us building wonders! Hey! Bah, bah, bah. How do the luxuries work in six? So in six, the way the luxuries are, each each unique luxury you have can provide plus one amenity to four cities, is I believe the, the way the numbers work. Um, Amsterdam declared war on Gandhi. Okay. Um, and it automatically tries to it give it to the ones that need history. the uh, the amenities the most. Find details of the marvelous adaptation of animals to their food, their habits, so and the I can't switch out of public works, and I still want the rest of this stuff. So I don't think we're making any policy changes right now. Um, does reform church lead to anything? Or is that a dead end? That's a dead end, yeah. So we don't need to grab that because we're not interested in theocracy. Opera and ballet is a dead end, but it actually opens up the Bolshoi Theater, which is really good. Gives you two free uh, uh, civics. Actually, um, we're not going to pop the art museum anytime soon. So let me hard research the, the, the that, because if we can build the Bolshoi, it'll be really, really, really good. Okay, I do want to finish up my traders. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. We can send some envoys. So uh, we are still a suzerain here. We're still a suzerain here. Excellent. Um, we do have a lot of um, commercial hub districts, so it might be nice to grab some of those. And also looking for potential suzerain ships. I guess what I might do is just displace Arabia over here up north. Actually, uh, Japan, 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 Japan. Japan has nothing right now. Okay, that's actually a good sign. Okay, let's let's go and dump a couple into Stockholm. It's not going to give a suzerainship. It'll just, I think, displace, but that's okay. So you're going to come down here. You will Eureka three techs, plastics, telecommunications, and satellites. That sounds very handy for us. Uh, so you've gone and destroyed that. Excellent. You were just a lonely field cannon. Now, I think we have another lonely field cannon. Yeah, right over here. So why don't you go there? You're going to be able to form a core. Corpse it up! And then we'll leave many corpses behind. You're doing that. You ships are still heading over here. So that's good. Actually, I should be running right along the coast for vision. Oh, yes, our antiquity sites. Yes. We have to work on that soon. We're not buying apostles. How bad are you? You're minus two. And... It's all from population. Okay, yeah, we need to get some more joy. We also have some plans for entertainment districts, which we never got around to. So starting to build that and getting our way up to a zoo is actually going to become very, very critical here if we want to keep our cities growing. Why don't you build an encampment in Data Link? Capture the tile from Japan and get a great campus location. Um, oh, you mean this one? Well, we're going we're gonna to be like conquering here soon anyway. So I see what you mean. Very legit, but I think we are we can be patient. Alright. 
Cat guy needs many things. Hmm. One of these two is looking to build. I think that was TF2 Brum Brum Brum. We'll probably build the industrial zone there. Cat guy. Well, okay, we're planning an entertainment district there. We need to make a plan for an entertainment district over here. So we're going to turn on our lens mode for city overlap in range 6. So we're going to build one to here, which uh, reaches the cat guy. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, and data link. Okay, so that's going to be fine. But TF2, brum, 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 won't. So I think actually right here, especially once we take Fukuoka, will be an excellent place for an entertainment district. So we're going to add a pin there. I'm going to OK it first, because otherwise it'll potentially still do a glitchy thing. So that's going to be an entertainment district right over there. All right, so that's a good plan. So, Cat Guy, what are we going to do with you? Um, an industrial zone right over here would actually be quite good for Cat Guy. Because it'll get another plus one when we mine that. I think that's probably a good idea. Oh, yeah, why don't you form a core over here? of these obsolete units, but it still makes them more relevant, so that's going to be nice. Uh, you're going to come around here. Yeah, we're going to just check the far coast here a wee bit, but... <gasps> yeah, it's Brussels! What do you want? You want a trade route? And that's pretty far, but we might actually be able to send a trade route from Borbra. Yes, we will investigate that. We can build up to 18 trade routes now. What? That's amazing. That is really good. The Venetian Wonder, yeah, maybe. I mean, we do want to build a lot of ships, but I think that was, like, we looked for a good place to build it, and for a while we didn't have a good spot. Things may have changed now. <laughs> Brussels is the capital of France. Thank you very much, Brussels, but... Uh, look, our troops are really just passing by. You are not relevant, France. I hate to break it to you. But yeah, you're not, you're not a problem. Oh, we boost towards class struggle. I wonder how we did that. Engineering? Industrial zones, rather? I don't know. Launchpad. How you doing? Um, build me traders. Yeah, we need to max out on that. Because it's good in general, and we actually get a substantial amount of bust from this. Flux inductor, 22 turns. Anything we could do more immediately? You might get a harbor at some point, but not now. I mean, we could... I'm not building that. Venetian Arsenal. What is it? Adjacent to an industrial zone on the coast. Yeah. Right. I guess I could plan out my industrial zones to plan to place that going forward. I probably should. Uh... We could do that. I could put an industrial zone here and plan on putting the Venetian thing here. Flux Inductor, we could send a bunch of trade routes to here to boost that. Not really sold that that's the best idea, though. And that leads to a pretty weak industrial zone. Uh, there are some hills over here, but... Well, and here. An industrial zone here wouldn't be too shabby. And we could consider building the um, Venetian Arsenal. Alright. Well, let's do that. I mean, it's going to take a long time, but who knows. Uh, go ahead and repair the granary. That's going to be okay. You are just going to fortify on the borders here. Probably make Japan nervous, but... Screw them. Wow, a catapult! Japan, terrifying. I already have diamonds. Do I have not? I don't think I've got dyes. I think people pointed out I may not have had dyes. I have an excess of these luxuries. Actually... I would prefer, rather than trade away the marble. Yeah, something I have more of. Now I'm willing to take a slight hit. He's actually not making any money. It'd be nice... Is there a way to get a list of the luxuries you're missing? Like, I want a list of luxuries I don't have access to. Because then maybe I could trade for it or something. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. For electricity, 
We'd all be watching television by candlelight. <laughs> that is a good quote. Uh, there's our seaport, which is great for building our armadas and stuff later on. Uh, we may as well go for economics, because we got the boost for it. Greeny, you are going to start your entertainment comp complex. We need to get this freaking kicked in here. Get some overlapping amenity bonuses. That's going to be really, really nice. All right. Our first builder over here. Um, Flux Inductor. What's going to happen here is I'm going to go and chop this forest and prepare to build a mine. I'm going to make sure that this tile belongs to Flux Inductor because then it'll get the production boost, which is going to be useful. Japanese settler up here. Interesting. I don't think you need extra luxuries of every type. Now, the problem is there was some um, some conflict in the explanation back and forth. Uh, some people said originally that you need one copy of luxury for every four cities that you own. Um, but then uh, future clarification looked like my troops are really passing by, buddy. I'm not declaring war on you. Um, future clarification seemed to indicate that a, a, the most you could ever get from a luxury is four cities, and that more copies don't stack. And the report screen seems to show that, because again, I have like, um, I have like five incense, right? So if we look at resources, and we find incense, and of course this isn't alphabetical, so why would that help? Um, there we go. Or gypsum, right? I have six over here. But it's only helping four cities. That's it. Any of these only help four cities at any point. So yeah, multiple copies do not help. As far as we can tell. Which does make it very hard to keep a lot of cities happy. Although I guess that's when you get the entertainment districts. But, I mean, you don't have infinite copies of these things. Alright, Salvius. Um, oh yeah, no, you already have an encampment. Right, I was going to say, what if I build an encampment right over here? But that we cannot do. Um, a watermelon might not be a terrible idea. Actually, you could build a seaport here and then start popping up with more ships. Wow, your production rates suck. Really badly. Everything is slow. Also, you need a ton of tile improvements. I guess we really are need, need to keep the builder tech around for a while, because I think I'm going to have to keep spanning out builders. Now, can I get through here? Oh, I can! Alright. Oh yeah, I guess I could have gone through Veneta. I love Veneta territory as well. No envoys, we can use more trade routes, increased trade route capacity, just sick. Enemy stole tech boost in new Carnifex for metal casting. I guess it's not that old, actually. Alright. I want to buy the trade routes. Actually, that's an excellent point. They're way, way, way cheaper than I was thinking. Let's get a couple there. Salvius' production sucks. We could also buy builders, too. Actually, that might be a better idea for Salvius. Tell you what, start on a water mill. I'm going to cancel the builder, and I'm just going to buy a builder here. That way, we may not have to keep this stuff around. Okay, i got to stop spending a little bit here. It used to be my default thing in Civ 5 to buy trade routes all the time. It just hasn't been in, in the top of my head. What's going on there? It's Sir Linder! Hey, thank you very much for the tip! Hey, you Quill, I'm sorry I haven't had the time to watch the stream so regularly anymore since I got a full-time job but to keep up the good work, mate. Well, thank you very much, Sir Linder, who definitely used to be a <laughs> crazy full-time regular and uh, has even come out to some of our, our fan events, which has been fantastic. Good to see you around. All right, core that up. Ooh, he's got armies, which is, we've, we know, can be very, very, very dangerous, even if the tech is a little obsolete. It's quite, uh, quite surprising, actually. Heritage Tourism. All right. Amsterdam declares war on Leventa. Leventa declares war on Saladin. So I think that means that there's been some... Um, some King suzerainship Solomon changes. The Queen of Sheba all she Zimbabwe! For, besides what he had given her out of his royal bounty. So she turned and went to her own country. 
she and her servants. There we are. Um, I'm going to ignore you, because we may declare war on you. Although, again, I don't actually care about lies that much. But, Great Zimbabwe. So now trade routes out of Blanru are super mega valuable. Which is nice. Alright, here's my capital. And my capital's got room for another district. Now, it's not going to need... Well, it might still want a local entertainment thing. It can't keep overlapping, but it might still want one. I'm planning on building one here. Hmm. You might actually want another theater square. Any wonders I can build here? Hermitage is alright, but... Well, actually, it's... Oh, but the production rates right now are the suck. Just build a trader. We have up to 20 possible trade routes now. Insane. Um, and you know what? I will build one more, or buy one more trader here in Blanc Rue since it does have the Great Zimbabwe for huge boosts. Um, and, I mean... More money? I don't know. Oh, you can finish your harbor. There we go, which we had pre-spent a while ago. And it's going to take no time to build. And actually, you're going to be building a lot of ships for us, which is going to be nice. We need another settler here, but I should buy one once I got some money again. Look at that, 371 per turn. I'll buy another settler over here. I think that's an excellent idea. Um, also, maybe builders and all kinds of things. For now, go ahead and just um, build a granary. But yeah, we may have to spend some more money over there. All right, you... Are going to do what? I think it's time for me to mine these hills. And you are going to go and mine that coal. And you're going to come around here. Like that. Excellent. Trade route out of here. I was going to do just for a production boost. Uh, there's no um, no mission filter, huh? Oh, so he states the trade quest. Okay, but you can't reach. So that's okay. Um, I still tend to go for more production. Uh, I think a trade route to Cologne should be relatively safe. And I'm not going to run anything to Japan. So this builder, yeah. I, um, I don't know if we'll do chops. Well, not on the forest. We won't chop the forest, but... I mean, what's... The, the rainforests aren't good for anything, right? I don't know. Borba, can you get to a city? Yes, you can reach Brussels! Nice. Giving us an envoy over there. Excellent. Why don't you run a trade route to Salvius? Should be relatively safe, and we can set up a, um, a trade depot over there. <laughs> State. Trade capacity, yes, yes, good, excellent. 400 gold per turn! And yeah, I'll try to spend the money over here. Uh, getting a settler up here, builders up here would be very, very, very nice. 400 gold per turn. What's our victory? We're just going to, like, buy the world. Which makes me think of Alpha Centauri, where you could actually do that. You could actually just win through money. It was awesome. Hey, Bob! The whole palace complex is built along the Forbidden City! Yes! The of the world. An extra Everything slot for what? Wildcard policies. Brilliant. Central point. Brilliant. Love that. Bob sent in a tip. Thank you very much. Uh, you made me spend a lot of money in games last month. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this month, I'm giving you some of the money I've not spent on them. Uh, thank you very much, Bob. I'm hoping you enjoyed the game that you bought. That's the important part. Really, really hoping that's true. <laughs> Uh, Dry Meat Shield is a great place for us to build military units because it's got the encampment and, um, oh no, we don't have, again, we don't have the thing to, like, insta start but okay. So, just get a factory going. That's gonna be fine. The production will still be good. We got the policy slot over here. So I'm gonna keep public works for now. Could get more money from this, but who needs more money? I mean, I'm gonna keep trying their trade. Sure, that's fine. Uh, I think maybe rationalism might actually be a huge win. We do need a bit more tech. Um, or, or, hold on. Keep getting me great scientist points, actually. 
That's going to be okay. Um, and let's take a look at our great people. I don't have much faith, so no, not enough. What's the next great scientist? Mary Leakery. Yeah, great si gain science for every artifact. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that one's glitched too. Mm. So we're going to uh, chop this. It's going to provide wood, hopefully for flux inductor. It doesn't actually say, but it should be. Yeah, chop, reducing greatly the amount of time needed to build that, which is excellent. You're going to come over here. You're going to build me um, another, uh, just another mine over here. More production. The trade routes out of Blonde Root. Yeah, look how much money these trade routes start to make because of the Great Zimbabwe. Just madness. Just madness. We could sort for most money at this point. We're not going to go to Japan. Uh, there's no other, like, city-state quests. No. We're not going to go to Japan as a result of safety. This French one would be nice, but it would involve going through some Japanese territory, which is no good. Anything that leads to a lot of science? Oh, Stockholm. Still a fair amount of cash. Go to Stockholm. You know what? It'll be relatively safe. I think that's a good idea for now. And look at that. Our ships have, are arriving over here. Uh, Na Nagoya is actually being hit by something. So that's nice. We like to see that. A great merchant would help you greatly. Which one is it? Oh, the cosmetics, yes. Uh, no, refuse. Um, how likely are we to get this? We are currently making most points. The calculation says that we would be the people to get it, assuming no one else faith buys it. We could, in places with commercial districts or hubs, and we have a lot of them, we could actually run a bunch of the projects, actually. And I think that might be an excellent idea. That does not greatly respect Fuck one's change. Wishes. Big Ben. Uh, Big Ben is one that's also really tricky to do. If we do commercial hub investments, we can get some great merchant points. I'm going to go and run a few of these um, in places that can do it. It's 24 turns might be a little too long. Is harbor shipping grivy? No, that gives you ar admirals. I don't think I have as many commercial hubs as I think, or I have way more cities than I imagine. 27 turns. Apparently this is a job that takes a lot longer than I think. 27 turns. 13 turns over here. Oh, this is in our capital. Yeah, um, while the trader is good, yeah, do that. I really want to see if we can't get that, um, oh, nine turns. That great merchant. So we'll have three cities applying a boost. Well, they have to finish that job, but then they will apply a boost to our great merchant points, and we'll cross our fingers that that will be sufficient. Okay, we don't have a boost on anything now. Aren't three musketmen? How many do I have? I think I merged them into a core over here, so I only have one going on right now. Okay, let's take a look and consider where we want to go, what we have boosts for later on, uh, how we'd like to optimize things. Uh, I hear, I hear science is pretty good. So, let's work our way up to chemistry here. We're not going to get research agreements. Everyone hates us. Uh, revealing oil would also be nice. And uh, we'll take a look at those. Those are That's a pretty big queue. Uh, commercial hub investment. We could actually do in 15 turns here. I, I'm going to hold off on that. The Rohr Valley is beautiful, but... We'll have to give it some think as to where exactly we're doing things. Um, I think the production boost from the power plant actually will be key to, well, building everything else after that. 